dead already. Man, y'all, y'all better want me alive. Don't put me dead or alive. I'm trying to be around here. I'm trying to be around here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not tying up my hair. I'm not. I'm not the one going live today. I'm going to get some cowboy boots. Come on in here. Come on in here. Come on in here. Hey, Latasha. Hey. Cut this light on so we can see. Cut this light. Oh, cut the switch. Cut the switch. Hey, Linda. Hey, Linda. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Nay. Ooh, hey, Siobhan. Hey. Mmm. Hey, Brittany, if the camera's rocking, that's because I'm rocking. They got this bounce beat going over here. What you say, they mail? Hey, that Devin. Hey. Hey. What you say, that coat? See, this the problem. This why, is this why I don't cook to bounce music, because I don't know how to act. I don't know how to act. What you say, that T? Hey. Hey, Siobhan. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. See, y'all think I'm bad now. Y'all should catch me in this car. Look, y'all ever driving down oh the streets? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna share with you. I'm gonna share the group a video of you. Y'all ever driving down <laughs> the streets? And you see me in the truck? I'm much worse in the car. I'm like a. You're like, like a, a gangster you're like a Tasmanian devil in a dang car. <laughs> come on in here, come on in here. It's Tuesday, that means it is hunger trap, but I'm not cooking today. That's the fun part about it. We get a few more people up in here, Miko, let me know. Here we go. We're going to turn around. I got a PSA. Everybody, some of y'all go to church, they call it church announcements. Hey, Devin. Here we're going to get in here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about people with anything? Right. They put a bounce on every song. Gospel, we just heard a country song with bounce on it. cowboy, country, soul. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Reasons. I hope that, I hope that reasons come on. I hope that, that reasons. Oh, Lord. Oh, that, 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 that goodness. That, that goodness. That goodness. All right, how we doing? We good? We're good. We in here. We're here. All right, y'all. Welcome to the Hunger Trap on this beautiful Tuesday. I've been talking a lot of trash about doing this, and she called me on my bluff. So this is going to happen tonight. We all going to eat. Well, I'm going to eat. <laughs> some spicy citrus. Spicy citrus. Spicy citrus. Spicy citrus fish tacos. That's right. That's you know right. Yeah. And we're going to have some fun. Because Miko's cooking it, and I'm going behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. I'm done. Uh-oh. I'm done. I'm not cooking today. <laughs> I've been guinea pigging recipes for this Hunger Trap Kids. I've been getting other digital stuff in order for this 21-day meal prep So you tired or no? I, I got to get this e-cookbook that goes with the 21-day challenge, the healthy cookbook ready. Now I get all that together. So Miko's going to hey, take Linda. over tonight. All right? So here's the PSA. You can't make right, Mary, Mary be quiet Mary, now. Mary. 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 <laughs> all right. She don't listen. She's all here. All right. Now, I saw some emails today with some people requesting that we send in to eat the recipe so y'all can cook along and we can do this whole feng shui thing, right? I hope y'all are on here, especially those people that emailed it. Here in this house, <laughs> we do not send out recipes that are not tested, okay? We only send out recipes that are tested and we have properly measured went through everything and know that the recipe is going to be a one for you okay now if we're we have done cookbook cooking where we cook out the cookbook and everybody who got the cookbook we cook we throw down and we have some fun but for the most part every recipe y'all see on the hunger trap 99 percent of them are brand new recipes just for y'all 
on Hunger Trap Tuesdays. So if I send out a recipe to you that has errors in it and you have a bad experience with your cooking, you're gonna look at me like I'm crazy. And I ain't crazy. I don't know. You, you might know be a little that, crazy. You know <laughs> but that's why we don't typically do hunger trap cook-alongs is because we have new recipes that we have the ideas for it. And as we cook and we go live and we cook it, we're studying our recipes and working it out to make sure that when we send it out to y'all, that y'all have an easy, seamless, carefree cooking experience. So we do have days when we do have cooking experiences, but for the most part, Every time you see a new recipe, every time you see us here, it's a new recipe. So we can't send out, uh, I, I can't say it any sweet. We can't send out a half-assed recipe that's not tested because we want y'all to have great experiences where you don't have any struggle, all right? Because I know how y'all are. I know how y'all are. You send you one bad recipe, oh, chef can't cook, the recipe came out bad. That's what happens when you get beta recipes. But when we send y'all recipes that's proven and tested, your cooking experience, Ah, Martha Bella. Yeah, man. Yes, Miko. Jay just says, wait, did I hear you say 21 day meal prep challenge? Yes, there will be a 21 day. This ain't even on the PSA, but yes, I am about to launch a 21 day meal prep challenge. That's going to be only $15. I'm going to send you almost everything you need. Hey, and you're going to be able to uh, get a whole list. I think I got about 20. 20, 25 different recipes, but it's 300 different combinations of things you can mix, match, match, mix, match. People have been doing the challenge, losing weight, having fun. It's all geared towards eating healthier and budget-friendly meals, all right? And if you participate in the actual challenge, you get a little chance to probably win some of that. Monday, you heard me? I'm throwing out. Cash money. Well, it ain't going to be cash. It's going to be digital money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because, you know, you may be all the way in California with my girl Nia, you heard me, or with my girl Siobhan in New York. I can't give you cash money physically, but I can send something in your PayPal. You heard me? So, <laughs> yes, the 21-day meal prep challenge will be dropping at the end of the month. So, get ready to look for that. You will see, if you follow me on Instagram, I am probably tonight or tomorrow going to drop a cooking test which is a 15 minute cooking test where I cook three different recipes in underneath 15 minutes. And after you finish taking that cooking test, you'll be able to do the same thing after you finish the 21 day challenge. Yes, another question. Make a wish Kaylee is on, so she says hello. Hey, Haley. Haley. We got, the, we got the cooking camp, Haley. We doing hunger trap cooking with the kids this summer, Haley. Kaylee. Kaylee. We say Haley. Kaylee. Kaylee, we're gonna have some fun. All right. Any questions? No, that was the last get, question. Well, even if y'all ask a question and I get on the other side, I'm going to be in the director and Nico's gone. So without further ado, I don't normally, look, I, look, I shared this woman with y'all, I love y'all. All respect. My wife, Miko, is about to come on here and do her thing. You can follow her at MikoInTheDish.com, Instagram, Facebook. She don't tweet, but she don't tweet at MikoInTheDish too. <laughs> this is her recipe. So I don't know where she's going to send it to y'all. Oh, don't put those. You know how she be. She, yeah. she says she's going to send it and then she don't send it. <laughs> so don't be emailing me about where this recipe is. Oh, Email Lord. Oh, no. Dot com and ask her where that recipe at. So she says she's going to give it to me so I can give it to y'all. My email list, y'all know y'all get them recipes. Um, email list, Black Berry Mint Sangria come to your inbox this Friday. Ooh, Blackberry Friday. Mint Sangria. Oh, we, drunk in, we drunk that thing in 20 minutes. It was delicious. We drunk that, we drunk that thing in 20 minutes. You're damn shame. But anyway, Miko, you ready? I'm ready. ready I think slide. so. I know you got to put on your apron and stuff and do all that razzle dazzle. Yeah, Krista in the building. Ooh, child. It's been so long since I've been in front of the camera. Ooh. I'm so used to being behind the Ooh. camera. Don't be scared now. Uh, I'm not scared. I'm not scared, but there's definitely maybe like a little bit of nerves. Oh, we all have. Yeah, true, true. But you know what? I don't think I'm going to even start until folks start tagging a friend. You ooh, know what I'm saying? ooh. Like, I feel like this is a monumentous occasion. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to need every single one of y'all to showing. tag a friend, to show me some love. Make sure people know that Miko's back in front of the camera. Yes, Miko's back Where in front of the camera. Oh, you need prayers? <laughs> you need prayers? Y'all be gentle. <laughs> you need prayers? Yes, Lord have yes. mercy. Tag a friend. Tag a friend. Let me know when they start tagging people. 
All right, star tag and a friend tag. A friend. Let me let me tag some of my friends. Let me get. Let me get. Let me get. I'm I'm on it. You hear me? Tag some friends. Tag, okay. I tagged a friend. Why are you tagging? I'll tell people what we're cooking tonight. We are actually I just made this the other day. So and and even though I cook for Kenneth all the time, I hadn't made this dish for him yet. So he was like, where did this come from? And it's actually a dish that I um uh developed when I was in business school. Oh. Because we was out here shopping at Costco trying to get our back view. Oh, oh, y'all was bulk buying. Yeah, we Mm -hmm. This fish this is, a, is a gateway fish recipe into liking fish because it's got all that citrus and sweetness that kind of hides some of the elements that you probably wouldn't like in a traditional fish dish. So, mm. so, yeah. so while people are trying to keep people from gateway drugs, you're trying to introduce people to gateway fish recipes. Gateway recipes. You know what gateway like, fish recipes. Don't That's like what beer, you're doing. So they drink cider in order to gateway into mm -hmm. liking beer. So mm. All right, Nay Nay say, come on, represent for Southern hey, Cal, bro. Come on, we out here. Come so, and represent. Um, are they tagging friends? They tagging friends. They are in they there. Y'all better show us some love. Give me some yeah, hearts if y'all ready. Go ahead on, get this thing yeah, percolating. I can't spell percolating, but it starts with a P. Go ahead, go put it wherever you want to, baby. This is your show. This is your show. Wherever you want it, you did. Right here in the center, and hopefully my mother-in-law don't see that because she will talk about me. Um, okay, so let's do in traditional hunger trap style. Put your ones in Woo! the air. Put your ones in the comments if you're ready to start with step one. Put your ones in the Tyler air. Brawley put your ones in the air. air. Put the ones in the air. If you're ready for the first step, put the ones in the air. Put that uno, uno, <laughs> uno, uno. Right, yeah. Me go on sip three over there. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Yes. All right, so while y'all putting it up, I'll just show y'all a little bit of the produce that we got. Remember, as you out there in these streets, before Corona, during Corona, yeah. and after Hello. Corona, always wash your produce in baking soda and some water. That's going to kill all the bacteria, all of any of the parasites and uh, any of that stuff they be spraying on the, on the produce. You heard me. They got the ones, baby. They're looking right. for you. Here we go. Right, right. Not yet. Not yet. I want three more ones. I want three. Okay. Three. That's one. I want two more ones. Two more ones. Chef, you have to send the recipe since you put this in the hunt. Hey, Nia, I can't send what I don't have. If I have it, Nia, I'm going to send it, Nia, baby. I promise you. No pressure. No pressure. Hey, we got one more one, baby, and you okay. good. Okay. We got one more one, and then you good. Okay. One more. There go one more one. All Appreciate right. you, Chris. Right. Be ready. Be ready. Be ready. Okay, so you guys have seen these fillets before. It's the oh, frozen hey. fillet. This is actually mahi-mahi, a frozen mahi-mahi fillet that we bought from Costco. You buy it in bulk. When uh, the pandemic first hit, we bought, we went to Costco like everybody else and bought a whole bunch of bulk stuff that we could freeze. So these are the, these are the fillets that we bought. Three. Three pounds for uh, nineteen dollars, where you normally spending nineteen dollars for a pound and a half right, of salmon, exactly, or fresh salmon. Exactly. So the key to buying pre-frozen fish is that in order to thaw it out, we typically they're they're like individually wrapped. So we typically dip them in water for them to thaw out. But then there's so much moisture in there, particularly if you're gonna pan fry or something, you want to then wrap them in some sort of paper towel to draw out that moisture. That way they're going to fry beautifully and they're not going to be soggy and mushy. You yes, want to make sure to get that out. Yes. Because if you ever have had the experience of cooking frozen fish and then baking it and it was like mush, that's because it was too wet. Exactly. Exactly. So we did this already. We've already thought it. We've already laid it out in our paper towels. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick cook of it. And it probably won't even be cooked all the way through, which is fine. Um, but basically we'll do a quick cook and then we'll add in all the rest of our ingredients. All right. Before I cook. Hey, I, Akira. <laughs> before I cook, what I like to do is I like to actually break these down just a little bit because this is not going to be your traditional fish 
taco recipe. Let me just warn the people who are fish taco lovers up front. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay. Miko got a PSA. I'm, well, I'm just saying because normally you get it fried or you get it like grilled and it's like the whole filet inside of a taco. Not mm -hmm. happening. We're going to break it up and then that's going to create more surface area for that good like sweet coating to go around it mm -hmm. and pack in more flavor for you. And looking, like, all about. looking like Bruce Leroy with that oh, packing yeah. around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut these in fours. And then I'm gonna put them back on the paper towel because I wanna season them before I start cooking them. So, I had this recipe for the first time and I was like, yo, that's so good. I'm gonna add it to my volume two of my meal prep challenge because not only is it unique and easy, but it's healthy. Yes. All it right, now, a lot of cooking, you can do long cooking preparations and be in the kitchen for four hours. But we believe in fast flavors and executing a delicious meal. So where you have tons of flavor that may surprise you with how fast and easy you can actually impact your food with flavor, all right? So and mahi-mahi, if you can't get mahi-mahi, you can use cod. If you're in the salmon, you can use salmon. Yes. If you're yes, in the tuna, yes. a bumblebee tuna, you could get you some tuna. Don't you do tuna. Me? Don't do tuna. Don't do tuna. I'm saying if you're into it. I'm saying if you're into <laughs> if you're, it. If you're into, if you're into like it. That, actually, I, well, I'm using today to see things is some of the last of our <laughs> savory seasoning, but it won't be the last for long because we're actually working on getting redistribution of savory seasoning for so for all you people, oh, 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 a little, little test bag. So for all you people who have been waiting for savory to come back, it's on its way. Um, and this is like, we're testing things out. So hopefully soon, right? Hopefully soon we'll get it, get it out. But I love using Creole seasoning, particularly Kenneth savory seasoning because it has all of the ingredients that you would typically season with anyway. So it's got the cayenne, it's got the onion powder and the- and All the right, all right, all right. Oh, 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 all oh, right. oh, 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 don't allow me right. Okay, okay, okay. So it's got some of that all in there, but it's low in sodium. So I can control what sodium I put into my food, which is really important, particularly when you're trying to be healthy, make sure you're not retaining water, all that other kind of stuff, so. Yeah, Jay, I know it's her show. I know she got it. But you know, I got to drive my nuggets too. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 can't, he cannot be a passenger seat driver. Or he cannot be a passenger, a passenger. He has to be a passenger seat driver. That's just what I learned about my husband. It hey. is what it is. Hey, we, I, ain't, we ain't going to get lost. <laughs> we ain't going to get lost. That is true. But we want to make sure that it is fully coated. Okay, so that is seasoned. Let's move over here, sir. Bring the people over to the pan, which is already on and hot. I can feel the heat permeating from it. So that means what I What you can feel the heat doing? Permeate, permeate. Come on now. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil to coat the bottom of it. And that oil is gonna heat up really fast because the pan is already hot. You can actually hear it sizzle. Well, you, not maybe, over the bounce beat. Maybe not over the bounce beat, but I can hear it, you know, starting to starting to sizzle a little bit. So I'll just kind of roll that around and even it out. Hey there, Leslie. And then I'm gonna add my fish. Yeah, see, now uh, you can hear it sizzle, right? Mm -hmm. You know what we call that here, y'all. That's the sound of love making. That's the sound of love making, perk and simple. All you right. define the sound of love making. <laughs> I hey. think that's just fascinating. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't know what kind of love they making that's quiet, you know. <laughs> Sorry. It's your mama on. <laughs> everybody, everybody came through somebody in this on this video okay, right now. Okay. But yes, if 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 you put your food in there and the skillet's not hot, just take it out because that's a key component of cooking food yeah. evenly. Yeah. Yeah. And you see what I'm doing here? I'm not packing it with all the pieces. I could fit all these pieces in here if I wanted to but I'm letting them breathe so that they get a little bit of a char on the outside, get that nice flavor browning on the outside that's gonna kind of continue to carry some flavor throughout the entire dish. Mm -hmm. And you notice that I didn't add salt or anything right now, I just added the savory seasoning because we're gonna continue to add salt for being. I don't want it to be too salty, so I'm waiting to add some of those seasonings because we layer the flavor throughout. Yeah, man. Yeah. What'd you say that, Brandy? <laughs> I see you over there, baby. All right, so how yeah. long does this process take? What are you looking for? What's well, looking I'm actually for? looking for the white, how it turns from translucent to white down. So I'm looking at the rise of that. I'll probably let it go for about a minute, minute and a half, and then I'll flip over. I'm not worried about it cook, being cooked fully through. Mm -hmm. I'm really just worrying about it getting that nice brown on it. And then I'm going to take it off. I'm going to add it to the heat once we do the rest of our ingredients. So. All right, all right. So I think I can start flipping now. Hey, Serenity, this is Mahi Mahi Fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice color you got yeah, on there. Yeah. 
give y'all this overhead view. Oh, this is what you be going through with me? Man. <laughs> right, but I be on a ladder, okay? You, oh. you, you tall, so you just get oh. to stand there. Miko Leslie says your hair is everything. Thank you, boo, thank you. All right. Oh, look at that color on that one. Yeah, that was pretty. So I don't know if Miko do this, y'all, but I'm infatuated with sticking people in the pla in the skillets, in the plates. So I'm giving them the close-up. I definitely yeah, give I, people I, the close-up. I'd be on the other side, so I don't be knowing. You know what I mean? So and we Kim found this at not, Costco. Kim does not wash, does not watch back the hunger traps. So. No. I along this is uh Aisha, this is uh Mahi Mahi from Costco. So yeah, I don't I don't watch hunger traps back because a long time ago we used to have some hating ass haters and I would <laughs> oh, comment. I I will comment back. Haters, yeah, I will comment nice. back, and my publicist told me that's not good for business. So I just stopped watching playbacks because people will try you in your comment section. They and, sure will. And and I just enjoy the camaraderie of commenting back. And she told me that wasn't good, so I stopped watching. <laughs> so you know, I learned from my mistakes. Yeah. So the fun thing about this fish is, like we say, everybody we know are watching their dollars and we watch our dollars year round but we also know how to get a great bang for our buck so we found these mahi mahi frozen fish fillets at costco you get three pounds for 19 dollars as opposed to um like one of our favorite thing is still head trout and still head trout you can spend uh, about ten dollars a pound on that so this is just great frozen fish that you can keep in your fridge and you freeze until you need it and it takes about 10 minutes to thaw out but to be honest with you even this, which is a good quality frozen fish, will be destroyed if you don't do the wrap in the paper towel mm -hmm. first. The proper thawing, if right? If you don't do the proper up. thawing method, it will still taste like mush. It does not matter. No, everybody can get it, okay? Uh -huh. you just, this is what you have to do every time. And a lot of people don't know that's, that's the key to buying frozen fish and saving money. Yeah, say it. I appreciate that, Hawana. You know, I'm I'm with the foolishness. You know, I'm I'm from the boot, so we we like to have fun and talk talk trash. Mike, that is that is my savory seasoning. That is probably the last bottle that we have. But we are definitely working on new distribution to get this we back are. up and pop. And I'm not selling five ounces no more. You're gonna have to get a hot twelve ounce. <laughs> Not, not five ounces no more. I'm slinging 12 ounce seasoning packets from here on out. If that bag was big enough, I'd have throw a whole pound in there. But we're doing five ounces. 12 ounces. Oh no, Mike, ain't old bears not allowed in this house. I rebuke Kenneth, that in the name of Jesus. Kenneth definitely is not an old bear fan. I think that's so fascinating. Akira wants to know how do they know when the fish is done because she has a tendency of overcooking. Is this your yes. sister apples? Oh, is that my sister? That is your sister. Oh, hey. Um, yeah, and this one you actually do not want to cook all the way through because it's going to go through another cooking process afterwards. So honestly, I do, I typically just do one and a half minutes. One and a half, one to one and a half minutes each side because we want it to continue to cook in sauces and we don't want it to dry out. But you do pay attention. If you see the sides, you can see the white starting to grow up the side. And that's how you know it's it's cooking through, and so that's what I, that's typically what I pay attention to if I'm going to pan fry a fish all the way through. Do me a favor and slide him this piece right here over. You see that? Wait, no, slide him over, over, over. Yeah, Akira, if you see. Oh, even look at that. Look yeah, at that. that's what I'm about to say. You can see how it's starting to turn white through. That's how you know it's finished. The the bougie culinary term is term is opaque. Opaque. That's you want right. it to be opaque. I heard that 305 in the building. Where's everybody tuning in from? I know my girl Hawana says she's from the 305. Where you where y'all watching from? You right, all right, look, all my Louisiana people talking about we do not use old beef in Louisiana. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hey there, Dominique. Dominique says, hey, baby. Hey, Dominique. Okay, we're gonna pull these out. But don't turn your pan off because we're gonna continue to use this pan. We're gonna continue to use this grease in there. We might add a little bit more. Seven oh seven. There they go. They represent. They represent. I'm gonna turn down the oven right now because I actually need to cut some veggies. So this is our fish. It'll continue to carry over, cook a little bit. Ooh. While well, you just can't. You just can't mention <laughs> the technique of carry over cooking and place the fish down. Why is it so important that people understand carry over cooking? Whenever you are cooking 
anything, anything really, but particularly meat that has a tendency to get very tough the longer it cooks. Um, when you take it off the heat, it doesn't stop cooking. That heat is retained inside and it'll continue to cook and continue to make the meat or whatever you're cooking more firm. Mm. So typically you don't want to cook it to, to the point that you want to eat it in the pan. You want to account for carryover cooking so that, you know, once you serve it on the plate, it's perfect. 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 <laughs> so got some jalapeno. Now listen, listen. <laughs> and actually I should have gave this morning up ahead. This is my food, okay? I'm going to be licking. I'm going to be tasting. Okay. Mm. My husband loves my fingers. Okay. Mm. So mm. if I dip my finger in, mm. if I if I if I if I double dip with my spoon, mm. it's gonna I'm happen. Okay. It's gonna happen. Because this is my food. Mm. When you cook it, you cook it the way you want to. Okay. Because mm. we know you be sticking your fingers in your food. <laughs> hey, that Laverne. Okay. okay. All right. We got a wide range. We got people from Chicago, Oakland, Denver. We, we all over in the building. Okay. And some of y'all just put y'all zip codes. You know I don't know all them zip codes. I don't know your heart. zip code. Okay, so we learned in Hunger Trap a long time ago that this is the pith. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. This ma is the pith. And in a jalapeno, the pith is the spiciest part. So if you don't like spice, remove this or remove the whole damn jalapeno, okay? Um, I like spice, so I'm going to keep it in. Y'all see them knife skills. Hold don't, on. Don't, don't come for me. Don't I'm not coming for, for you. Don't come for me, chef. I can't see the knife skills on the left side. You right-handed. So I'm going to chop this down to include it in. And I might actually, I got some small bits. I like texture, so I like playing around with playing around with uh, different sizes. So I'm going to do slices and I'm going to do chopping mine. You can do one or the other. Obviously, because I'm doing both, you can do whatever the heck you want. Just know that when you do a recipe, you have the option of doing it your way. Mm. So even when you fi follow a recipe, you can make slight alterations to fit your style of cooking or yeah. how you like different things. Okay, that's good to know because some people will literally not make a recipe because they're missing one ingredient. And that should not be the case. Just think veg for veg, like meat for meat. Like that's typically how I think about it. Like if I don't have something, like what do I have that fits into that same category that I can potentially cook with? So I want to take off that outer layer. Chopped jalapenos. And I want, actually I want sliced onion. So I'm going to slice my onion. Mm-hmm. I see you've been taking my knife skill course, Miko. So I see that. I see you've been taking my knife skill course. He's so funny. I really need to release that knife skill course to the public. Yeah, really? You need to give the people something to get excited about. I don't know. We, we got this 21 day meal prep challenge to get excited about. What you say? We got this 21 day meal prep challenge <laughs> to get excited about. And and we got this Hunger Trap Kids coming up. So I'm going to take care of y'all kids for two months. Two months. I'm excited about that. That's what I'm really excited about and nervous about, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. So yeah. we're going to add some oil to the pan that we used for our fish. I'm gonna turn the heat back up. I turned the heat down. Now, the reason why I did that, in between chopping, so you can obviously prep all this ahead of time, which I did not do. That's probably what Chef would have done. <laughs> 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 hmm. <laughs> but I'm hoping, I'm gonna do it my way, boo boos. Okay, so I turned down the heat in between because I didn't want my pan to burn, but I wanted it to remain hot. So I turned it down on the lowest setting. Mm -hmm. um, and now I'm turning it back up so it should reheat pretty quickly. I'm gonna add some oil to the bottom so that I can heat up these veggies. Let that go up for a few minutes. Hugging on my mama from the jail cell. You guys should see him dancing in the back. If the, if the camera's shaking, it's because Kenneth is getting his groove on in the background. I dance with my mama to this at my wedding because this is our jam, you hear me? It's <laughs> our la jam. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Miko is here to work, y'all. Work her. Work her <laughs> like y'all be working me with them questions. I ain't had to throw one church finger yet for her just yet. <laughs> Letting her know she got a question. That's what I do. I use a church finger to let him know that he needs to pause and pay the people some attention. Ooh, what side of NOLA y'all repping? Mike said we're representing downtown, Jim Tilly, 6 Wall, 7 Wall, 8 Wall, 9 Wall, that's downtown. So I'm going to add a little salt to my veggies, and that's going to help draw out the moisture just a little bit. Ooh, I, feel, I feel like a, um, 
an Oscar-worthy director right now. You know what I mean? These camera shots. I'm gonna ask the people if you're doing a good job or not. People are, uh, is he doing a good job or am I better? I wanna know, I really wanna know. Who, who's the better cameraman uh, here? Uh, 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 Akira wants to know which oil, olive, what, what kind of oil? Grapeseed, grapeseed oil. And that's because grapeseed oil, one, is a mild flavor, but it also has a high heat. Um, smoke point. Smoke point, that's right, that's what I'm trying to say. High smoke point. That means it can it can continue to cook without burning at high levels. So we use grapeseed oil traditionally in this household. Uh huh. Normally, if we're using any oil, it's probably grapeseed oil. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So we got some time. We got some time. We got some time to let that chill. Um. Okay, let's talk a little bit about garlic. So I'm going against the chef's recommendation. So the chef. The guy behind the camera typically recommends, and actually, I'll show you what he recommends. Any any oil we get that from uh, Costco. Go ahead. The chef typically recommends pre-peeled garlic. I am in support of this as well. However, I do cheat from time to time. Oh Lord, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> She's admitting on live camera, y'all. She's a cheater. I Come am. On, I, I'm you know what? And we you know, we've got time to be chopping up this shit, so, okay. Woo! So what I do... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I will go to... I'm dropping this camera. Listen! Go ahead. Listen. This your show. This your First show. Of all, this is not, this is not the garlic that's in water that's going to take away the flavor, okay? Mm. I, I, I am not going to do that. I don't know if you're using this, but this is free. I just want to let y'all know that the eye rolls is for me, not for y'all. The eye rolls and the head twitch is for me, not y'all. Yes. Exactly. That's that's on me. He's used to it. Um, I normally go to Trader Joe's and get this pre-chopped garlic that's frozen in cubes by the teaspoon. Or, uh, you see the packaging? Uh, this is it. All right. One cube equals one garlic clove. Okay. Okay. One cube equals one garlic clove. Perfect. So I literally get these, and it's so easy. It's already pre-chopped, honey. Mm. I literally go flop. You know what I'm saying? Oh, extra garlic? Three garlic cloves. There you go. <laughs> and it's not diluted. It's still very concentrated because it's just the garlic, but that's how we're going to get our garlic flavor right there. I'm sorry, Chef. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to let people know my, my secret. Oh, look at the color that these onions are getting. Wow. That looks amazing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, smell, smell it, chef. I, I smelled it, I almost sneezed from the, <laughs> from the jalapeno hit me in my throat. All right. Okay, so now, we Whoa, see hold on. What was your question, Gail? Ask it again, Gail, I'm sorry, babe. Send it again. Go ahead, babe, keep cooking. Okay, so who's ready for step number two? We already got all of our fish cooked, we've got our vegetables cooked. Well, let's put step number, if you're ready for step number two, actually, let's go ahead and put in the comment. I'll show you what's next. Two, two, two. Put them tools up. 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 Uno, dos, uno, dos, uno, dos, uno, dos, uno, dos, uno, dos. Put them tools up. And look at that garlic. All right. Cooked all the way in. And if y'all just tuning in, we are in the hunger trap with Meat Goat. Hey, she hey, is making hey, hey. a spicy citrus fish tacos. And we're using mahi mahi tacos right there that right. she pre-cooked. And then up in here, she got some red onion, some jalapeno, and some imitation garlic. Stop okay. it. It's, yeah. garlic, it's garlic cubes. Ah. It's garlic cubes. Three hey, garlic cubes. You? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? That is a real garlic, okay? You use frozen veg? You use frozen veg? Sometimes, but not as much as no, you use that no, garlic. you use frozen veg. Garlic is a frozen veg. Thank you very yes. much. Yes, extra okay. virgin olive oil, Gail, would be the most expensive oil. And then um, avocado oil might be right running in close to it. I'm getting ready. Did we get our tools? We throw, they throwing up the oh, tools. Okay, okay. And I'm answering questions. So they got the tools. Wait, wait, we need one more too. One more two. Hurry we need up, one more two. Hurry up, y'all. We need one more two. 
Look at you that. Want All that too. flavor down to the bottom. You see that? All that crystallization of the of the uh, onion sugars all there down at the bottom. Yes, that's they, that's good. They laughing at me about man. All right, there go your second two. Okay, so we're gonna add our fish to the pan, and then okay, this is what this is what makes the dish. Okay, is orange all day. Okay, that's orange juice for y'all. <laughs> OJ. See, see, look, see, I want y'all to appreciate what I do for y'all in the hunger trap. I, I go through the measurement process. Miko is winging it. This is what she's great at, though. I told her she needed to create a cookbook called Pantry Cooking. Actually, you know, for that event, I think I'm going to do just a full cup, a cup of orange juice. You and we're going to cook it. Lime juice last time, too? Yes, and I also use lime juice as well. So, and, I, and I'm going to use lime juice again today. All right, so that's one cup. So somebody write this recipe down, because clearly <laughs> Miko hasn't wrote this recipe down. I haven't. So that's I one haven't. cup of orange juice. That's one cup of orange juice, and then we're going to get the squeeze of, or the juice of. I resent that, Giovanni. I'm paying attention just well. <laughs> the juice of one lime. Juice of one lime? Yeah. Do you know that regular limes do not have seeds, but key limes have seeds. No, I did not know that. Did you also know that key limes have more lime flavor and give out more juice than regular limes? Are key limes the original lime? Yes, yeah, surely is. <laughs> just out here like trying to educate, you know. Because shouldn't it have a seed? Like, why it does should. it have a seed? Yeah, because this is the hybrid version of a lime. Ooh, child, the lime be giving you all the, like, all the business. resistance, right. yes. Okay, I'm going to throw that away. <laughs> Hawana said when my kids hear y'all they be like oh lord she watching Chef B you know how she get won't talk to us <laughs> won't talk to us till the show go off that's right mama need her own quiet time let mama watch the hunger trap in peace please I still love you too Giovanni baby alright so we got our fish yes our onion red onion yes jalapeno, jalapeno garlic, garlic orange juice salt. a little bit of salt yes orange juice and yeah. you season the fish with my savory seasoning. And feel free to use any seasoning, salts, alls that they may have at their own. Yeah, maybe any kind of offer for seasoning. Oh. I would be careful on just the salt. So just make sure that you taste as you go. Okay? Yes? Is there a question? Steven wants to know, can you add fish stock as well? Um, well, you could. If you... Why, and I, I want to know the reason why. Because the reason for this is because we want the the orange juice to reduce down and create almost like a glaze, like a sugary, sweet coating around the fish. If you do that with a sock, you won't get the same result. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you could if you wanted to, if you're trying to, um, I don't know, dilute it a bit. Mm -hmm. But if you want the true flavor of this recipe, I would not recommend it. Mm. Kristen yeah. says, hey, what you say there, Kristen? Yes, in apples, that was one cup of Orenthal James. And Stephen, I would just say, if you want to use some fish stock, when she showed how all of the brown bits was after your vegetables, if you want to add a little fish stock there to pick that up first, yeah. you well, can actually, do that. That actually is a good point. So we saw all those, that crusty bottom from the crystallization of the sugar coming out of the uh, onions. And you might want to just, you know, do a little scrape at the bottom to make sure that flavor comes up into the fish. But this is almost like stewing the fish. So it's not going to stay in these chunks. It's going to break down even more, which is what we want it to do. And like I said, it's going to have a multiple surface area space in order to coat and get that good, sweet citrus flavor in there. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Kate. Them beats is definitely running in the back. Don't, don't worry. That, the reason why I don't cook to the beats because I, I dance more than I cook. And that'd be a problem. And that would be a problem. And that'd be a problem. Okay. So, so Miko is whipping this up. So, what's next, Miko? What we got Actually, next? Actually, I'm going to add a little pepper. A little, a little pepper. You know, just a little bit of pepper. Get that in there. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna taste the salt content right now. What was that, that facing? Spicy and good. Yes. Oh, good and spicy. Yes, huh? good and spicy. Okay. Yes, because we kept all the pith. Pith. That's what you want. Y'all wasn't on Hunger Trap. I don't know if y'all was here that day when they was trying to clown me for saying pith. <laughs> no, like pith. What is that? Like, like, like I don't have a... Term. Right, like I don't have a bachelor's of science degree in culinary arts. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about around here. You know what I'm talking about. 
A little, little razzle dazzle. I don't know too much, but you know. All right, so we're gonna let that go. We the 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 bubbling is good. Okay, you want to see the moisture rising through the heat. That means it's reducing down and it's going to get thicker and thicker as it goes. So you just walk away from that at this point, oh, right? Just walk away. Just walk away. Right. Just walk away. What we're going to do now is I didn't do this for you when I made it for you. Oh, I'm eating tonight. So, I mean, you ain't saying nothing. Is we're going to make a mango salsa. Because I believe the mango is going to go really well with the citrus. Mm -hmm. Spicy citrus dish. So. Okay. Almost to a glaze, Steve. You want it to cook down to get nice and thick. Yeah. So we're going Kristen, to I do be making stuff up, but not with culinary terms. <laughs> thank you. No, Kristen, thank you. Thank you, girl. Because he do be making stuff up. He literally be making up words and so serious. Serious face. And I'm like, sir, that is not accurate. Look, nobody will believe you unless you believe yourself. We need like right? a walking Grammarly for you, for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So this is how I cut my mango for my salsa. Listen. That's the chef portion right there. This is the chef, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to gnaw on this seed later, but I'm not going to do it in front of you, so we're going to save that off to the side. Actually, this is for my salsa. Thank you very much. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to cut it like you typically would cut probably an avocado, but if you don't know how to do that. Oh, Ida, it was only four fish fillets, Ida. It was only four fish fillets that she cut into quarters. Ooh, look at them knife skills. Now, as a, as a chef, I am very, very panicky right now. Right, because I'm this holding is, it in my hand. Yes, yes, this is yes. very dangerous. Don't, okay, okay, I'll do it for, I'll do it for the people. I'll do it Ooh, accurate for the people. Oh, the first time I met Miko, she started cutting the avocado <laughs> like that in her hand. I said, what are you doing? She's like, I'm cutting the avocado. When I'm like, you can way, slice. I end up cutting through the mango, which I don't like, so, so that's you can, why, because I'm so strong. You Ooh. see muscles? Oh, look at that, 21 day challenge. What do you want? Swole on them. <laughs> I'm so strong. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, you just want to make sure because the skin is so thin, you can pierce yourself and yeah, that's true. Have a little little bit of you in the mango salsa. You know we what I'm saying? We not the shedding the blood. We do not want your blood covering us. <laughs> KJ said that's how she cut her ball eggs. Y'all dangerous, boy. Y'all be living life on it. Edge, I'm telling you. Oh, what you about to do? A hack? Yeah, I'm actually about to do a hack. So. Get all the way down. I want all the mango, okay? So I try to get down all the way to the, to the bottom of the, what is this? Peel? What is this? Oh, Why? oh, oh. Oh, now you want to ask me for what it is? The, the skin? The skin? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, you know, you showed me that you know a thing that you know. Right. Uh, oh, not, not even okay. want my help. So what I typically do is I'll just use a, a cup and boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to do it like this. Can you, can you give me one this, this way? way? Yeah. Okay, I can try. I Thank can you. Try. There you this go, right there. This is a little awkward. Be though. awkward in life, you know? Oh. Issa Rae started a whole love show called Aqua Black Girl. Now look at her. See what I'm saying? Being awkward don't matter. Okay, that's a cool little trick. I mean, you got to dirty up a whole glass instead of a spoon, but it's a cool little trick. <laughs> it makes it easy for me, in my opinion. I'm, I'm willing to dirty it up because you're going to clean it anyway. You see what I'm saying? You can tell people who don't wash the dishes. Boy, I tell you, they dirty every dish in the house. <laughs> Right. Dominique said that's the pit. <laughs> that's the pit, right. Right. Okay, one more. Ooh, no. Don't worry about that. I didn't that. cut all the way through because of you. You didn't let me cut it the way I like to cut it. Dangerously? Right, dangerously. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll cut off this extra. When you put your head down all the time, it makes you your nose start running. My no, no, no. That's the jalapeno pepper hitting you is in your that, face. Is that what that is? licking you in your face. That is the spices of that aromatics tagging you. All right, so. Do you want to go run? I mean, if you have to, I'll take over and talk to the people. Go ahead, go ahead, like, go, okay. go get clear. Yes, that is kind of gross. I don't want to All right, y'all, so what we doing up in here? You know what I'm saying? I'm taking, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back while Miko go run to the bathroom. Um, I refuse to tie up my hair because I just refuse to. All right, so this is what we got going on, all right? So you see we got the fish stewing, and as you can see, that is starting to get a beautiful consistency. It's actually starting to cook down really, 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 really nice. And this is just 
bathing the fish into this beautiful orange sauce that has a lot of flavors. It smells damn good. Really, really good. Then she diced up some mango and dirtied up more dishes because she's not doing it. But that's a cool little hack. That's a cool little hack to get your mangoes out of there. That's really cool and genuine. And I think she's going to also do some tortillas at some point, too. So we can't have tacos without tortillas, yes. right? All right. You want another yes. sip, baby? Yeah, I'll have another sip of it. And for those of you who go away, I will just finish washing my hands. Thank you very much. Mm. You heard me. Well, you know how the people do. You know, you got the people who are the supporters. You got the haters every, every time. What'd you say to that dad? Earl in the building? Let's hey! go. Let's go. Ida, this is Mahi Mahi fish. Ida, a nice white flaky fish. Are you about to chop a chop? Chop, chop. Chop style. <laughs> All right. So, so you're making a mango salsa. What is the secret to a great mango salsa? And please, y'all, don't feel shy. Ask me go all <laughs> the questions. Oh, you are okay. Ask go all the questions. So what makes a great mango salsa to you, Miko? I think ripe mangoes makes a good mango salsa because you want it to be sweet. Like obviously if you don't get a mango that's ripe and ready, um, it's gonna be um, tart, mm. I guess. Um, and the, the whole point of mango salsa is that you want a sweet, a sweeter salsa than you would traditionally get from, you know, a more savory tomato, I guess. Mm-hmm, so, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I am going to... You can use that whenever you want to, Apples. What'd she say? She like the hating ass haters for this. <laughs> hating ass haters. Yeah. Call them Haas. H-A-H. -H. Oh. Ha. Let's take that off. That extra skin. Always remember that, y'all. Sometimes with these onions, they have an extra layer of skin on it that will yeah. try to ruin your life. All right, look at them nice skills. I see you, girl. <laughs> Chef, he tried to put on the pressure, honey. He, he. Steven wants to know he if you put should. any cumin in your salsa. Not in, in my your mango, mango salsa. salsa. No, sir. Sure do not. Not in my mango. But you could if that's what, if you like, if you like smokiness in your sweet. When I was working good. with some Jamaican chefs, that's how she made her. She used uh, some cumin in it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And uh, I have a question. Yes. Kelly my... says, so don't use pre-cut mangoes. I've never seen pre-cut mangoes. I Kelly, have, what? what? What store y'all be shopping at? Whole, huh? Whole food? Oh, I guess yeah, because I do just walk oh, by look, that look, area. Look, look, look how tender it is. So now the fish is starting to break up. You see that? It's starting to break up because it's so tender right now, and the, and, and the sauce is thickening up. This looks beautiful. So this is almost there. Oh, almost. We're almost there. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit because we don't want it to overcook. But this looks great. All right, let's get and, back to our salsa. And yeah, Kelly, I would say the only problem with pre-cut mangoes is. Those guys' jobs is literally just to cut the fruit. They're not checking to make sure it's a ripe fruit. So yeah, I just you, think, you take yeah, a risk. Yeah, 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 I think it's just a risk. There's nothing wrong with pre-cut mango. Um, I think you just don't know if it's ripe or not. And you obviously are able to do those tests by being able to touch, mm -hmm. feel the resistance in the mango, see the color, like all those things, all those components when you're shopping for a whole mango, you're able to really get a closer idea mm, of whether go. it's ripe or not, but you can't do that if you're buying pre-cut because they literally are, like you said, they're just talking. So. Mm -hmm. Gail trying to put the pressure on me. Talking about I should be making the drink to go with this awesome meal. And Gail trying to put, the, trying to put the pressure on me. Okay, so I'm going to add some cilantro to both my salsa and to my pan of fish because mm -hmm. I like color. Um... For those of you who watch The Hunger Trap, you probably already know this, that you know cilantro is one of the herbs that you can actually cut the whole thing and add it to the dishes and it won't taste bitter. Um, my rule of thumb, and it's just because of my preference, when I'm doing something fresh, I like it to be more leafy. So I won't pull the leaves off of the stem, but I won't include the entire stem. If I'm cooking something down, I'm more likely to include all of this in the cook. So that's just my preference. It's not necessarily a rule. You can obviously do it either way. So, no pressure. I see them knife skills world. No pressure. Okay, you really trying skills. to get up close and personal with my cut. You know how I feel about knife skills, man. It it, it makes sure everything is nice and even, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got a little rockety rock, rock, rock on this. Rock the boat. Yeah, it's, it's about time for some new cutting boards. They, they didn't been through the hunger trap. They really have. You, you have really worn these guys out. They didn't been through the hunger trap. 
See, I'm about to talk to my plug in China about giving me some cutting boards and then uh, that, you know. About that. You know. Uh, 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 then life happened. Right, then life happened. So that's going to go into our salsa. And then we're going to do the rest. Hey, that this. Obi. Obi says, hey, baby. Hey, Obi. And I'm going to, you see, I'm using a lot of the stem here. I'm you said that, Raina. Raina said, hey. And I'm going to fold this over to help get through the cut a little bit faster. Mm, Dominique said you're a natural at this. She is impressed. Oh, thank you, Dominique. And this one you don't have to chop as finely because you're cooking it down. So this is just a rough chop. And then I'm going to take all of this and add it right on the top. Look how thick this sauce has gotten now. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. It's got a, a nice thicker viscosity than it did before. And that sugar, the sugar in the orange juice is all gonna reduce down and concentrate and make it even sweeter, so. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo! that's good! Mm. That's good! When you impress yourself. When you impress yourself. This is pretty good, so I'm gonna actually put this on low, because I'm happy with this right now. So I'm going to probably actually move this to the back burner and keep it on low so it stays warm. This, oh my gosh, that flavor is carrying to that's so good. Let me put y'all in the skillet right fast. Before she moves it to the back. Woo, look at all them flavors, even the, woo. <laughs> I'm gonna move back to the back. And then I'm gonna bring my tortilla pan to the front. But I'm gonna finish my salsa first, so. Tortilla. Tortilla. Look All at right. me. Look, I'm a messy cook, honey. It's the truth. From your mouth to God's ear. <laughs> you a hater. Um, okay, so let me kind of get this. Out of, this is the best tool ever, by the way, guys. Bench scraper, everybody. Bench scraper, bench scraper, okay. The bench scraper is the best invention. Mm -hmm. Actually, I invented a bench scraper in, in, in elementary school. I didn't know it was a bench scraper at the time. I don't know if my mom remembers this. She's on right now. But there was a science like fair you're supposed to, or an inventive fair or something like that. And it was like, and even back then I loved to cook. And my invention was, <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about it. I repurposed one of those small little sweeping brooms in a dustpan. I put Velcro on it, attached a, a Velcro bottom to my, to my, um, Topping, mm -hmm. My topping board, and I swept. <laughs> I swept the vegetables into my cutting pan or my um, uh, my pan. My, what is it called? Dust pan. Your people just want to know if that was a brand new one, not a previously used one that you used for your experiment. What are you talking about? Your dust pan. No, of course. People. That's all me. It that wasn't was the people. You. Um, of course I did. Of course I used a new one. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> I can't with you. Okay, so what's left in our salsa? Again, spice. I like spice, so we're gonna add some more jalapeno and we're gonna add some lime. Hey, some that looks all you. That we're already seeing in the fish. Nothing too complicated. And this, we're actually gonna do a chop for real, for real. And like I said, if you don't like spice but you want jalapeno, you can take off the pit. I'm gonna keep mine in. For the blood pressure. <laughs> Good for the, is it? Mom, you can't have no jalapeno in your food. Yeah. Spicing itself with blood circulation. All right. I think half is going to be good enough. Well, let's get our bench scraper. Throw that in there. And then let's get our lime juice. And what we're also going to add to this is a little salt because salt is going to in intensify the sweetness, surprisingly, of the sweetness. mango. That salt, typically if you have something sweet, like even in desserts, you'll see in a dessert recipes, it'll say to add salt. And that's because salt helps draw out or intensify the flavor for you of sweetness. I love salt. You is digging into that, that pro lime, I, I boy, do, boy, I do, that, because I want it all. What that lime did you? I want it all. That lime did you. <laughs> Yeah, so it's also yeah. it's also the opposite. If you add a little bit of sugar to anything savory, it'll enhance the flavors 
of the savory dish. But of Good course, point. we all know we gotta watch our sugars. Right. No, nobody wants the sugars like. But that's said. why I mean, salt. I I'm more in, I'm more inclined to add a little bit of salt to intensify the sweetness and add more sugar to it, right? Because in some cases, I've seen people actually add sugar to their mango salsa. Yep, 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 Raina. That's exactly why people add salt to their watermelon to bring out the, the uh, sweetness. Right. Get a little bit of salt in there. And if you really like, you uh oh, know, you got people talking about they're going to buy bench scrapers tomorrow, girl. <laughs> And if you really like, you know, this, this, this. Oh, go ahead. I, Testify. I bring this to a couple things. This tahini is the truth, okay? And I like to add this because it's got that, like, dehydrated lemon and lime in it. So it's going to bring out that Mexican flavor. It's also got some cayenne in there. So mm -hmm. all those traditional chili Mexican flavors that you like, that's right in here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add a little bit of that, just a little bit to the top. And I'm going to grab some, a spoon to stir that up. Actually, I have a spoon over here. Cool. Look how pretty that is. Pretty, pretty. Chef, do you want to taste this? Sure. And I have a question from Steven. He wants to know if you can use red wine vinegar. You could. You can use... So, you need an acid, essentially, when you're making a salsa. Um, for me, I'm using lime as my acid, but you can use a red wine vinegar. It would give a different flavor, but it would still work. It would definitely still work. Okay, tell me what I need, Chef. Tell me what I need. To, to give me some? Nothing. You say nothing? Yeah. It's a very ripe mango, so you get the instant sweetness of the ripe mango. Then you get the nice bite from the red onion and the, and the jalapeno. Some people call it jalapeno. Okay, and no, nobody calls it jalapeno, okay? It's jalapeno. Okay? That's what I said. Okay, I'm so tired of you coming over here and saying jalapeno. Do you know... Do you know that some people say tomato? No, but he says Tomato, that tomato. It's, it's a phrase that's used to describe differences in opinion. And nobody says tomato. Yes, we have a difference in opinion nobody in the way I say jalapeno. Says, unless you're in the UK. Yes, yes. Well, I'm going over to the pond, <laughs> and they're going to say jalapeno over there. All right, so let's, let's recap real quick. So we have our fish, which looks amazing. This fish looks bomb.com. We've got our mango salsa. Now we need to heat up our tortillas. Oops, now we need to heat up our tortillas. So we have a pan here that's a little preheated. This is what I like to do. So typically, if you have an open fire on your stove, you can literally pop that damn tortilla right on top of the open fire and get the char. We love char on our food. We love a little bit of bitterness to contrast like all our additional, all our other flavors. Um, but you can't get that when you have this type of range. So what I like to do is I'll add just a little bit of oil to the bottom of my pan. And then you can either use a brush or you can use a paper towel and I spread it out evenly because I want my whole tortilla to get some of that love. All I see is signs. All I and see then is I add my tortilla. Signs. And I let it sit there and I let it cook a little bit in that oil. And that's normally like on a high heat so that it gets that brown that we like. So that's gonna take a couple minutes. I can take some questions. I'm gonna taste everything real quick to make sure that I like where we are. Throw it up, throw it up. Oh. <laughs> that is good. Shit, that's good. Mm. That's good. Okay. And I'm double dipping, people. It's just me and you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Close okay. that draw behind you. You uh, almost ran into that draw behind oh, okay. you. Are we good? We good. Any questions for us? I also may use this as a, you know, like you use finishing salt, so you just kind of top it mm -hmm. with a little finishing salt. I'm Was that a body salt. roll, what you would think about topping it? Oh, that's that's how much you enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. So basically what I would do, I normally use this as a finishing salt for my tacos. Or, Kenneth, tell me your secret about tacos. You want to give me a secret enough? We already went through that for Cinco oh, de Mayo. Oh, sure we already went through that Cinco de Mayo. You got to have Takis on the taco. I introduced Kenneth to Takis and he's infatuated now. So. Tacos deserve Takis. Tacos deserve Takis, you're right. And um, yes, Latoya, Miko will be posting a recipe when nobody knows, just Miko. <laughs> and it's Mahi Mahi ta uh, fish, Obin. Sometimes bubbles up 
If it does that, I'll give it a few like things. I'm gonna check and see if it's getting any brown. It's not. Oh, you got to, yeah, turn it. I need to turn it up. It wasn't up on high. You know, a lot of people live by, die by, and and talk mm -hmm. about these uh, induction burners, man. But they are not the truth. They don't pump out that heat like a gas burner. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's true. Let's talk about a couple brands that I love. Oh, Latoya said they're going to be doing one new recipe each week. Well, I hope you go to Miko in addition and find some of those recipes to make each week. Let me go ahead on and drop your drop your your uh, stuff up in there so they can know. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. You could, you got the flu. So I already told you about tahini. Uh, these are like um, uh, brands that I love for Mexican food that are the go-to so I don't have to recreate. Um, so I already told you tahini, bomb.com, really good for any. Can it even cook the steak taco? Using it like he actually coated it with the tahini, amazing, so good. Plank mm -hmm. steak, good. Email um, email list, y'all got that yeah. recipe. Appreciate you, Latoya. Um, when you think about sour cream, I want you to rethink your life uh -oh. and, and, and use cacique. Mm. And, and this is not a sponsored post. Mm. This is not a sponsored message. Nobody's telling me to say this. But if cacique won't send some sponsor money, we'll take it. Uh -huh. No, absolutely. We'll take this is it. so good and it will change your life. It's creamy and rich. It's not like um, what is the other brand? I mean, I don't, we them to other brands. We to it's like them brand. other brands. It's not the other brands. You really want to use this one because it's. I think it's more authentic, but then it also is just a rich, creamier flavor, and you are going to taste the difference. Mm -hmm. I promise you. It's a little bit looser, but it's supposed to be that way so that it coats your whole taco. When you add that thick, just that dollop. That dollop, right? That. When you got that dollop, that ain't right. This is this is what's right. So Casique, look for that. Typically in a refrigerated Mexican section. Now wait. Go ahead on. You, your tortilla, what you yeah, said I about your tortilla. So you see it bubbling up. And ooh, look how pretty that is. We got a little char on the side. So now, one time I got rebuked in my own house because Casique also makes one that says table cream. It's not right. It's not the same thing. No. You want to get the sour. The, the sour cream, yeah, not the, the agria, table cream. The agria sour cream. That one, that one. And then I also like the Salvadorian. If you get a Salvadorian. That oh, that's that. Oh, that's yeah, that. That's that true. We got that in California. I haven't seen it out here in Texas. But I Salvadorian. mean, we could go run a fiesta around the block. You heard me? We could go fiesta, find probably, out. It probably exists. We'll go find and out. And then, uh, is guacamole sauce is so damn good. Used to be a lot more in Amico. I know. I eat it every day. I add it to all my stuff. Yeah. Herdez is a great brand. Full of flavor and it only has like 50 calories every yeah. so many tablespoons. All right, so I'm gonna take that off. It looks like I'm gonna need to add a little bit of oil. It looks like I didn't add enough oil here, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to it because it's starting to fry hard and we just we want it to be loose. So I'm not like some my... friends we had back in high school, Ooh, right? Stop it, Kenneth. Yeah, don't look at, don't look around. I'm talking. To you. Okay, that's better. That's hey, good. Hey, yeah. So you're trying to fry this. You're not just trying to toast it and quick, put some it's color a quick on fry it. Because you because when you let it go long like this, it gets stiff and it won't it's not as pliable as you want it to be. Mm -hmm. This works still, but ultimately I like a little bit more oil. I'll, my I'll eat that one, don't worry. Oh, I'll eat it too, honey, yeah. but I'm just saying, like just for pliability, I normally like it to be a little bit looser and that oil helps moisturize, you know, like mm -hmm. you know like it do your hair? Yeah, exactly. You okay. put oil in your hair. Of the moisture. Okay, it, it works both ways. There we go. Oh, yeah. See, and then it gets there a little Fast, bit quicker. Yeah. Yep, there we go. But also, a trick that I've learned with induction burners is I typically like to let my skillet get to a smoke point. Then yeah. that's when I add my oil yeah, and I stuff probably to start cooking. A little bit too soon, so. And I normally like to, like, while there's oil in there, I'll flip it on both sides so to make sure that both sides get the oil before it starts to. Mm -hmm. and they say. And they say that's good eating. Guess I'm doing something right. I have all those. Laugh out loud. Yes. Mm hmm. Well, See, they, that's they right. on that West Coast, man. It's some yes. Southern cowgirls, yes. man. Exactly. They know what's up. So, if you had all four burners, you can make the mango salsa in advance. Right. You're absolutely right. But this, this recipe should take roughly how long when preparing it? Mm -hmm. I would say maybe 20, 20, 20 minutes. 20, 25, 30 minutes, maybe. Could 
Because while your fish is stewing down, you could be toasting your tortillas, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Right. A little bit more oil. We, we like to teach people how to cook here. I know everybody gives people recipes, but cooking is definitely a strategy-driven uh, idea. You know what I mean? You yeah. got you to gotta have kitchen vision. You hear me? It's all my people who went to John Foss Culinary Institute in <laughs> Thibodeau, Louisiana, at Nickel State University. Y'all know John Foss used to always tell us, kitchen vision. It is something that has stuck with me my whole life, and it just helps you be more organized in the kitchen, and you're able to multitask and knock out a lot of things. So one thing starts, and by the time the last thing that takes the shortest time finishes, everything yeah. is done at once. Yeah, yeah. How many tacos? But how many tacos do you say this makes? Um, who's eating them? You, you. This you. might be a good eight. Good eight. That looks good. That looks good. Good eight. Random though. No. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna make one more taco, or maybe two more tacos, or two taco shells. I'm gonna heat up, and then we're gonna start building our actual taco. Cause yeah, yeah. I'm ready to eat. The people ready to see the finito. Don't be greedy now. What you mean don't be greedy? Cause I'm ready to eat. But you double dipping, so this can't be for the people. See, that's how you take it back, y'all. <laughs> that's how you take back what's rightfully yours. How is everybody? Is there any questions right now? Are we good? What's up? I heard you, Cassie. Hunger Trap Academy coming soon for you, baby. Help with all that. Teach you how to put out fires and everything. Yes, that is important. Kitchen safety is very important. Yeah, I need you to know a few things before you get in the kitchen. All right. Don't be afraid of this heat coming up. A lot of people see that and like, you know, can it. You're right, yeah. Rock, 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 rock. All right, we got some tacos prep. We're gonna do one more taco. Get out your way. Yeah, get out my way. Get out your way. Get out your way. Get out your way. Any questions for Miko? Y'all awfully quiet. Y'all be asking me all the questions. Miko get on, y'all get quiet. <laughs> Compliment her hell. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't asking no tough questions. Steven, you're doing a great job. Keep asking questions, Steven. <laughs> you got no questions for her? You a hater. Okay, let's go. Let's move this. Get out the way. Sure. I don't know if you get firm. Mm -hmm. All right. There we go. You and want me now, to take this off the heat heat? It's oh, that fine? Heat, yeah. Okay. This is Mahi Mahi Latoya. Look at that, y'all. Oh, wait, hold on. Stop moving. There you go. All right. There you go. That's a good shot. That's Ooh, a good shot. Wee! So good. We're going to add that to our taco. Get on this side, is it? My cell phone, all hot from being in a skillet. <laughs> you do it for the people. Do it for the people. Any fish, uh, Hawana wants to know what's the alternative fish if you can't have mahi mahi? Salmon. Salmon's a good fish, trout is a good fish. Any white flaky fish is gonna work in this, to be honest with you. Um, but I also think this is a great dish for salmon. Because salmon is like kind of hinged on that sweetness, so this is gonna play well with salmon as well. But honestly, I mean, is there a limitation? I don't know if there's any fish that wouldn't work with this. I mean, I said tuna early, and you told me don't use tuna, but, but I mean... But I was thinking tuna in the can. Now, if you're using fresh tuna, you all right. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? We want these to be big and hearty, since we got a lot. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Yeah, don't skimp. Okay, okay. You say this for the people. <laughs> people greedy, ain't they? No, the people like to eat. They like to eat. Yeah. I mean greedy in the best way. No, no. That's what you mean, huh? Yeah, it's greedy in the best way. Okay, so we've got our base. Now, let's continue with our toppings. I'm going to go to salsa next. Add that really pretty color over the top. So you see the brightness of the red onion and the mango. That's going to play well with that citrus. All right. 
Hope y'all enjoying the music. Hope y'all enjoying that B E A T. That's B. <laughs> I think the people know what B. Hey, hey, hey. Obviously, you can add some fresh avocado. I'm just gonna cheat a little bit and go with the avocado salsa. Get a nice little drizzle across the top. Don't forget about us. And I told you guys this is a little bit looser. You can see that it kind of runs a little bit looser. It's thick, but it runs just a little bit looser. Don't be scared. Put some sour cream on it. All right. We got a dollop there. And then I told you guys I was going to top it with a little, I'm gonna pretend this is my finishing salt. Can I just a little bit of this on the top? That's the tahine. Why are you still going like that? The and that's it. A friend. That is the spicy citrus fish tacos. Um, are you talking about the fish or you? Just saying. I'm just want to know. I, I am behaving. Just asking, Tell me this does not look amazing. What do y'all think? Give me some hearts. Give me some thumbs up if y'all like the way this looks. Chef, are you going to be the taste Of course. I, mean, I keep getting called greedy every time I mention about eating your food. But they don't stop a damn thing. Oh, baby. All right, let's see. Oh, 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 that's the happy dance. But the happy dance before the food? I've been smelling it all this whole time, all right? How big of a bite should I taste? <laughs> Let go. See that juice in this right there? Mm -hmm. That means it ain't dried out. Whoa. <laughs> Hungry or no? <laughs> Why you take such a big bite, babe? Why you take such a big bite? Because I want it. everything on it. How's it taste? Tell the people. Good, spicy, juicy, tender. You would think cooking the fish down that much will begin to dry it out, but that's why you cook it in orange juice so it can taste it as it continues to cook. All the flavors are on point, nice texture from the mango salsa. I like the spice, me. Some, some of y'all might not like the heat, that's why you can control it, but I dig it. It's pretty good. One, two, <laughs> he said, yeah, there's some more, there's more. <laughs> Yay, he likes it. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, everybody. They said I did a good job, babe. Mm -hmm. They said I, a, I did a good job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Latoya said, wait, did I miss the recipe? <laughs> mm -hmm. And that is the recipe, y'all. Mm -hmm. Spicy citrus. Fish taco, super easy. Probably ingredients that you guys probably already have. You got probably use any ingredients you already have in your fridge. Would this work with shrimp? Yes, absolutely. Would this work with chicken? Yes, absolutely. We talked about substitutions, Would it work right? With vegetables? Huh? If you're, if you're a vegan and you're only eating, if you're a vegetarian? Yes, it would work with vegetables, absolutely. Cook down some nice vegetables, some mushrooms yes, and stuff. Yes. This is a very versatile recipe. Like I said, if you don't like fish, this could be a gateway to actually trying fish. This is a, this is a recipe I would try fish with um, to kind of start getting into fish. But if you don't like fish, 
You can use the same concept with chicken. If you use chicken, I would say make sure to cook the chicken a little bit more to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. But ultimately, you do the same process. Mm -hmm. um, if you use shrimp, you actually don't need to cook shrimp that long. So you may want to start bringing in the juices and the uh, vegetables, getting those kind of to the place that they want to be, and then add in the shrimp because the shrimp cooks pretty fast. Mm -hmm. But um, and veg. Uh, depending on the veg, I would treat it the exact same way you would treat it. So it's a very versatile recipe. You can yeah. use any fish. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody keep asking what type of fish. You can use any fish. Any fish. But yes. this is a mahi-mahi. And Reginald wants to know what drink are you serving with that? I think you're around here drinking white wine, right? I'm drinking white wine right now because I'm eating a white fish. I was thinking about making myself a mojito. Mm. So, oh. yeah, so I think anything that has lime in it that's lime, like a, like a, like a margarita, Ooh. a little Tequila something. Tequila something. Tequila okay. Something That'll good. work. If you want to make this drunken, you can add tequila to the orange juice. That's how I like it. <laughs> you can definitely add tequila to the dish. It'll make a tequila lime or tequila spicy citrus. Spicy tequila citrus spicy tequila fish tequila tacos. Citrus fish. You can absolutely do that. Yeah. Yep, we'll see how long it takes for Miko to get y'all this recipe. But if you're Ooh, on, sure. if you're on my email list, you will have a fire blackberry mint sangria <laughs> to go along with this recipe here. All right. So, yes, Obi tilapia would work. You want to tell them what recipe you started this off this with? This was started with the tilapia recipe. I actually made this first with tilapia, and now I've upgraded to mahi mahi. Ooh. <laughs> Let me upgrade you. All right, do you, you want to sign out? Yeah. Oh, do I get to do the sign out? It's your show. Oh, my goodness. Okay. As always, folks, remember, it's about peace, love, and deliciousness. Oh, my, my, baby.